Welcome to today's Big Brother 17 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Blue Bunny, aka Mark. Couple questions here. First, Mark wants to know, do we watch The Amazing Race Canada? We don't, we just don't have enough time. I've heard it's really good and it's just as good as the American version. So one day, one day. And also, he wants to know, why the heck did they choose to bring back the Battle of Block competition this year? It seems like there weren't really that many fans of it. Honestly, I think they really liked having that extra competition in the schedule. It really kind of like rounded out uh, the Sunday show for them. So I think uh, that could be it. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. We have so much to talk about today, so we need to really get going here. Alright, so yesterday, Shelly and Clay were talking in the cabana room. Meg comes in. And she's just like, yeah, so like, I was just wondering, was all that stuff that you told James about Austin true? Because Austin's going around saying that it's not, and uh, I want to know what's up, what's really going on. So she's referring to when Shelly and Clay went up to the HOH and sold Austin out to James and were like, he's Judas and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Shelly was like, oh, Meg. I love you, but your group played me like a fool. You got me to spill all this info, and then you used it against me. And Meg is just like, I didn't do that. Like, uh, I was not that person. And Clay is just like, well, you're uh, guilty by association. So Shelly does not end up answering. And she's like, I don't want to help people who aren't helping me. Ouch. Okay, so then Clay is like, yeah, uh, we, don't know, we don't owe anyone anything. We don't owe anyone. That's exactly what we said too. We don't owe anyone anything. Wow. So Meg is a little upset. This conversation didn't go the way she wanted it to. It got a little bit dicey. So Meg goes up to the HOH room to tell James what happened, and she's like, "Yeah, I confronted Shelly and Clay about the whole Austin thing, and they started throwing a fit. They were really defensive about it." So James is just like, "Yo, what's the deal?" Meg is saying that. Um, they were accusing James of going right to Austin with the information and spilling it all to him. And James is just like, um, I never did that. I did not tell Austin everything they told me. So it's BS. And it is BS because, yes, he went to Austin. He was just like, yeah, they just dumped some info on me, but we're all good. So don't worry about it. That's what actually happened. So... Then, Becky and Johnny Mac were chatting in the comic bedroom, and Becky lets Johnny Mac in on Vanessa's plan for the double eviction, which they think is happening tonight. So, she's telling him, yeah, they want to put up the remaining Shelly or Clay member, and then uh, put up either you or Steve next to that person. So, Johnny Mac is like, whoa, so Steve and I are expendable, huh? Yeah, that's pretty much what that means, because I don't think Vanessa's planning on actually getting rid of Shelly or Clay during the double eviction. Um, so Becky is just like, yeah, but like, don't worry about it. I don't think many people actually plan on sticking to this deal, because no one trusts Vanessa. Look at the Dark Moon Alliance. She puts these things together, and then she goes against them. It's crazy. So then they start talking about this week's vote and uh, if they should get rid of Shelly or Clay. So Becky is like, yeah, I want to vote out Shelly this week. So she's explaining to Johnny Mac that if Shelly stays, she's going to win a lot more competitions. She's really close to Vanessa. And why would they want to give Vanessa another tool, you know what I mean? Like, they want to weaken her. So, Becky's like, we really need to talk to Steve because we need five votes this week, so even if you vote to evict her too, it's probably not going to be enough. Um, and they're also, she's also saying that Clay is more likely to work with them than Shelly. Shelly is really close to Vanessa. Clay, not as much. So, Johnny Max's like, alright, uh, let's see what we can do. So, Steve was up in the HOH room with James, Meg, and Jackie, and it was mostly chit-chat, but there was some strategy talk. So they ask him, Steve, how are you voting this week? So Steve is just like, oh, I don't know, um, I'm not really sure, because it's like a really tough spot, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's a lie, because he already promised his vote to Shelly. But anyway... James throws in a little campaigning. He lets Steve know that Shelly and Clay tried to get him nominated this week after the power veto. Um, so he's like, yeah, Shelly did most of the talking. Clay was kind of just there, like, agreeing. <laughs> mommy said be quiet, Clay. Let Mommy talk. 
Um, so <laughs> James was like, yeah, they didn't switch their target to Austin until I was like, no, I'm not putting up Steve. So Steve is just like, oh, thank you for telling me. So then the feeds were down for like two hours last night for the halfway party. So the house guests got some food, some alcohol, they got to listen to some music. Which I'm sure is always pretty interesting because I think they play them like current music and they probably haven't heard a lot of it yet, so it's kind of fun. But anyway, uh, Steve apparently really let loose at the party. He got a little drunk. He was like dancing on tables or something. I don't know. But Steve also uh, has been having some wisdom tooth pain. So it's kind of reminiscent of Victoria last season. Hopefully he won't pass out in the bathroom. Alright, so... After the party, the feeds come back. Shelly and Clay are packing, Ugh, and they're so annoying. They're just talking about how they hope that maybe jury does start this week and it's all gonna be okay. You're gonna see each other eventually, just like get over it. So then they were talking about life outside the house and how they're gonna go out with their friends, they're gonna go bar hopping, meet each other's parents, and no one cares. All right, so meanwhile, everyone else is enjoying Wednesday night Big Brother Bowling. This time the pins were soda bottles, the ball was a grapefruit wrapped in foil. Yay, so much fun. Okay, so let's talk about something we haven't talked about for a few minutes. The votes for this week. So the Freaks and Geeks Alliance were discussing their plans. Um, just to remind you guys, that alliance is Vanessa, Steve, Austin, and Liz and Julia. Um, so they weren't talking all at once because they didn't want to be suspicious. So it was kind of done in rounds. Like a couple of them were talking at a time and they were kind of like rotating. So Vanessa and Steve were really pushing for Shelly to stay. And Julia was also like, Shelly is my sorority sister and she's done a lot for us. So like we can't vote her out. We've got to keep her. So eventually Austin agrees and, you know, he agrees with it. But at the same time, he's like, he does not want to sever those ties with James over this vote. So he's thinking, we need to tell James that we're switching this vote. So they decide they're going to tell him today after they have the HOH lockdown. So cutting it kind of close to the live show, but they do want to let him know beforehand. So then Vanessa goes and talks to Shelly and Clay. She lets them know, uh, as far as I can see, it's going to be a split vote this week. It's not going to be unanimous. I don't know exactly how it's going to shake out, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. Thanks for not much. So then Clay uh, is talking to Austin and Liz, and he's going on his whole campaign again about how people need to vote him out and keep Shelly. So he's telling them, yeah, after I'm gone, make sure you guys still work together with Shelly. And he's saying, Shelly has a better chance of winning than me. She wants it more. Um, she's been watching this show for a long time. They just found me at, like, a freaking basketball game or something. So, like, why keep me over her? Yeah, why, why even bring you in the house, honey butt? So then James and Jackie were talking up in the HOH room. And they realized, uh-oh, Shelly's probably staying this week. Uh, Vanessa and Austin are really freaking them out. They've been talking a lot about keeping Shelly instead of Clay, and they're not happy about it. Also, they don't think that Vanessa's going to follow through with her whole double eviction plan. They don't see how it's possible that Vanessa, if she were to win the HOH, would nominate Shelly and get rid of her when she's campaigning for her this week. It just wouldn't make sense. So they're really angry about that, too. Um, it just feels like a waste of a week. I mean, yes, they're splitting up Shelly and Clay, but they really wanted Shelly to go. So then Steve and Clay were chatting in the cabana room, and it's more of Clay asking to be voted out. So Steve's like, well, I never thought uh, I'd be asked to vote someone out, blah, 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 whatever. So Steve says yes, shakes on it. He agrees to vote him out. And then Clay leaves the room. Steve turns to the camera and starts going off. He starts, like, whisper yelling about how Clay is an effing liar. And he's like, Clay just freaking lied to my face. And blah, blah, blah. So he's saying how Shelly and Clay tried to get him up on the block. Uh, yeah. Where have you been? So he's not happy about that. Um, but I don't see him doing anything about it. So this afternoon, people were still running around, uh, talking about the votes. It's still, like, unclear exactly what's going to happen. So Meg is freaking out because 
Clay asked her again to keep Shelly instead of him, and she's just like, I don't want to do that, baby. You know I, how I feel about you, and I just don't want to vote you out, and I want to make sure it's not unanimous, and blah, blah, blah. So Clay is just like, no, this is what I want you to do. So Meg is kind of freaking out. Um, she doesn't want to be, like, one of the only votes for Shelly to go. She doesn't want to be on the wrong side of that vote, so she goes and talks to Shelly. She's trying to kind of, like, smooth things over. Shelly's being so freaking smug now that she knows that she's staying. And she's just like, oh, um, just vote however you want. Like, it's really amusing to me how people are, like, coming up to me now and trying to be nice because they know I'm staying. But, like, you can vote however you want. What a bitch! Alright, so then Clay and Johnny Mac are talking. And Johnny Mac is just like, dude, I don't want to vote you out. But, like, if that's what you really want, I'll do it. So then Johnny Mac is talking about his future plans and he's just like, I want to target Vanessa in that double eviction. I don't trust her, and I think she's coming after me. Yes! All right. So Austin then has his big conversation with James. He's been planning on this. And he lets him know, I'm sorry, man, but I got to vote out Clay. So he's telling James this is not a game thing, which sounds so stupid. He's just like, this is like a personal vote because Clay came to me and said that he wants to go home this week. He doesn't want to go to jury, so I should vote him out, and I'm going to do it. That's so lame. So James is like staying pretty calm, but, you know, he's pissed, and he's just like, why did I even bother winning that veto this week? I could have taken the $5,000 in the competition, but no, I freaking took the veto, and now it doesn't even matter because Shelly's going to stay. Also, James and his crew are upset because people are running around the house saying that they're bullying them, trying to get them to vote out Shelly. Again, I don't think it's bullying, um, but they don't want to be portrayed like that. So then, this is where things get really crazy. If you guys want to flash back to this, if you have the feeds, go to, like... 2.24 p.m., cameras 3 and 4. So, all of a sudden, the feeds cut to James and Clay exchanging words, tense words, in the purple bedroom. I don't know exactly how this started, because, like I said, the feeds cut to that room, like, mid-altercation. So, Clay is just like, you're going to be going home soon. You're going next. So then James is like, yo, you're saying that I ran to Austin and told him everything that uh, you guys said to me. That's not true. You guys are the ones that told him yourselves. So then Clay gets right up in James's face. And when I say right up in his face, I mean like this is James's face. This is Clay's finger. And this is Clay's face. Like they were about to make out, but like angry. So it was insane. Um, and James is just like, what are you going to punch me? Are you going to punch me in the face? Get out of my face. So he was sticking fingers in people's faces and it was inappropriate. <laughs> Good old Ruddy flashback. But anyway, it starts getting really intense. The feeds cut to the fish. And then when they come back, James is like, I'm sorry, man. And then <laughs> I really wish we could have seen what happened. But then Vanessa is yelling at Clay and Johnny Mac. What is going on? It sounds like Vanessa was accused of targeting Johnny Mac. And then there's like this rumor going around that Clay told Johnny this. And Johnny's like, no, like I figured this out on my own. <laughs> Nervous laugh to the max. So then um, Shelly comes in and she's like, what's going on here? I'd love to know too. What is going on here? So Vanessa's like, well, it looks like Johnny Mac is covering for Clay and that Clay told him to vote you out, Shelly, because you and I are going after Johnny Mac. And she Shelly is like, Clay wouldn't say that. My, my Clay wouldn't say that. So it's like really confusing what exactly was going on, but basically Vanessa thinks that, um, Clay was trying to throw Shelly under the bus and, like, Johnny Mac was trying to cover for him. I don't think that happened. It was, like, really weird. But then Vanessa pulls Shelly aside in the cabana room and she's like, you know what? I just figured something out. Clay and Johnny Mac are either brothers or cousins because why else would Johnny lie for him like that? Ah! Okay, so then Johnny Mac was talking to Steve and he's, like, really pissed at Vanessa. He wants her out. He's confident that she's coming after him, and you know what? She has said that she's ready to target Johnny Mac, so he's pretty much spot on, and I'm, like, really hoping he's going to win HOH, because that would be amazing. So, then the feeds, like, cut until after the live show, but it was, like, insane and totally not typical of a Thursday afternoon before the live show. 
So I really hope we get to find out like what actually happened there because it was very hard to keep up. So tonight is eviction night. It's either Clay or Shelly. It's still not totally clear what's going to happen. I'm thinking it's Clay going home, but you never know. And then it looks like it's going to be an endurance competition. Uh, because there was a little scroll going across the screen on the live feeds that uh, we'll be able to watch that tonight. So I'm assuming it's going to be the one where they have to transfer the liquid back and forth. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not totally sure on that. But that's pretty exciting. I love that one. So let me know what you guys think. And on a side note, Vanessa never went through with her plan to throw Becky under the bus and have the whole uh, Shelly Austin fake fight thing. But like all this other crap happened. So... What? Alright, so let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until tomorrow, much love.